Here, our goal is to reduce this fraction to simplest form. So here we have this fraction, and our goal is to reduce this fraction to simplest form. Notice that we have x to the power of 6 times y to the power of a negative 2 times z to the power of 3, all over 4 times x to the power of 2, y. We have 4 times x to the power of 2 multiplied by y multiplied by z to the power of 3. And so our goal is to simplify this particular expression. Notice that we have x to the 6 and we have x squared. These two terms have the same base. And whenever we have two terms that have the same base and we're dividing them, we have to subtract the powers. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write x to the power of 6 minus 2 because we have to subtract the powers or we have to subtract the exponents. The same thing is true for y. Notice that we have y to the power of a negative 2. And in this case, we have y to the power of 1. Okay, so this is to the power of 1. And so we have y to the power of negative 2 and y to the power of 1. And these two terms have the same base. And whenever you have two terms that have the same base, you have to subtract. And you're dividing them. Whenever you, have, whenever you have two terms that have the same base and you're dividing them, you have to subtract the powers. And so you have y to the power of negative 2 minus 1. All right, so we subtract the powers. And the same thing is true for the z's, right? We have z to the power of 3. And we have z to the power of 3. We have two terms that have the same base, right? And um, we're dividing these two terms. And so we're going to subtract the powers. So it's z to the power of 3 minus 3. And we keep the 4 at the bottom. OK, so let's simplify. 6 minus 2 is 4. So this is going to be x to the power of 4. Negative 2 minus 1 is a negative 3. So this is y to the power of a negative 3. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So this is z to the power of 0. And so what we're left with is x to the power of 4 times y to the power of negative 3 multiplied by z to the power of 0 all over 4. We still could simplify some more because z to the power of 0 is actually equal to 1. And so we put the 1 here. And so we have x to the power of 4 times y to the power of negative 3 multiplied by 1. And when we multiply this by 1, it's still itself. So it's going to be x to the power of 4 multiplied by y to the power of negative 3. OK, all over four. And so this right here is our final answer. And that's our answer to this question.